guys today we're going to be doing a review another yet another edc review on a sweet edc knife this is of course one of my top three edc knives and my top edc knife for under a hundred dollars of course is the benchmade 56 for anyone who didn't know that and before we get into this review guys as always please do not forget to comment like share and subscribe if you want to see more awesome edc content like this Hopefully you guys like this nice kind of snowy background, only having two knives on the table. And this is of course the full size grip and we're doing the review on the mini grip. Now, like I said, this is one of my top three favorite, all time favorite EDC knives and my top knife for under $100. And the two primary reasons why that is, is number one, this knife due to the way it's constructed and the way the blade is shaped, how it performs, this knife is an outperformer for its weight class. It feels like a far more capable knife than you actually or than it actually is as far as size and weight goes. It feels like you can do a lot and you can do a lot with it, a lot more than you'd expect than a really small knife. And secondly, for me personally, the ergonomics are really squared away. Now I realize not everyone is going to have the same sized hands and I do have medium, smaller sized medium hands. And for me, it fills my grip completely. If you guys can see here, there's no hang off on it and it feels really fulfilling. It feels really confident uh, in my hand. And overall, I'm not left with any like hang off here. It's not like a three finger knife. I can have all four fingers on it in either position. All four fingers or all five fingers there. And overall, the ergonomics just really fill up my hand. I think, the, especially with the pocket clip, it really has a nice handle to it and it really fills up the hand. And that's something that I really enjoy about it. But at the same time, being that this is such a small blade, for more smaller and more precise operations, it's really easy for me to choke up on the blade, as you guys can see, and get really fine tip control. And that is really nice to have, especially when doing uh, package opening uh, just general purpose work is also if you want to be extraneous like me and actually like skin animals I've skinned a squirrel with this thing and I really enjoyed especially when dressing animals uh, that really fine tip control because it allows you to get really close to the animal and actually make very precise cuts but that could also be applied to uh, if you do any food processing with your knives I personally don't find that I do too much food processing with my personal knives but a lot of times I do open packages or like food packaging with my knives and so it's really nice to use this knife it's also really nice when you're opening packages that you have to be depth controlled on so you don't want to go too far you can pretty much set your finger at like a depth hopefully you guys can kind of see like you can set your finger at a depth so if you want to cut into something to a certain level but no further this knife because this has such a short blade that's really easy to control with your hand you can set a depth really well and go to that limit and no further so that's something else that I do enjoy about kind of the ergonomics and once again going back to that uh <laughs> that performance level that this knife offers. Rolling back over to ergonomics, unlike with the full-size Griptilian, something that I actually really enjoy about the grip pattern on this knife is because it's a miniature Griptilian, basically all the ergonomic patterns you guys can see here has basically been shrunk. But what's actually pretty awesome about that is that this grip pattern, while it's a little bit large and not quite as ergonomic in the full-size Griptilian, when it's shrank down to kind of have like a micro grip to it, it actually is really tacky and the traction I found to be really really positive and the same thing is goes for the back of this on all the uh, jimpings that this knife has they're all shrunk down and have more of a kind of micro grip to them that I find uh, locks into your finger or into the the meat of your hands a lot better but yet is not as uncomfortable as this knife or as a full-size griptilian with this like especially on the back jimping here it's a little bit uncomfortable because uh, it's so large and sharp that it, it digs into the skin more whereas this knife it's smaller traction and it's a little bit more fine so it doesn't hurt you as much but yet you still get a really good traction and that is uh, a really big plus for me <laughs> So aside from that, of course, the 
this knife is, especially when closed, smaller than a full-size griptilian. So it's a lot easier to carry. And honestly, I find myself with this knife in my pocket a lot, just for the fact that it's very, it's lighter weight than this and it's easier to carry. It's also, funny enough, more robust because something that I found really peculiar with the mini griptilian as opposed to the full-size griptilian, and I don't know why this is, maybe someone from Benchmade can come explain, but, and I won't be able to show here, but if you guys do ever look at a full size versus a mini grip, you'll notice that in the full size griptilian, the liner, it has a small metal liner that kind of runs from basically here to about here, and it's about yay big. It's not that large, but it has like kind of a weird metal liner to it that's like half metal liner. It's kind of like an undecided metal liner in the Benchmade full size grips and I don't really get it but it adds some rigidity I guess but it's kind of like a weird half liner whereas what I do enjoy about the uh, full size grip to, or full size mini grip it has a full metal liner in it and that adds to the rigidity and overall robust nature of this knife and you guys can see it's far harder to uh, push in and get it to bend because it has full liners full steel liners in it and I don't like I said I don't know why this one has weird liners in it or like half liners in it but it does uh, whereas this one has full liners and so I do also enjoy the rigidity and I think it kind of adds to the overall feel of this knife that you feel that it's a lot sh or not a lot stronger but if you feel it's more rigid and a little bit stronger than this knife itself as far as the access lock goes of course it's an awesome access lock it fires fast this one's broken in i've had this knife for a few years now but uh, it fires fast just fine no issues with it uh, this one's just a little sticky from like pocket lint but overall no issues with it the lockup is just fine no up and down a tiny bit of side to side play which is pretty normal for benchmade access locks <laughs> this one has a little bit of side to side, no up and down. So same basic thing. So aside from those features, and like I said, it being a more pocket friendly knife, I also like it because of generally it's a more friendly demeanor. Of course, these are both tactical looking knives, but if you pull this thing out, and I'm not just saying this because it's serrated, but generally because it's larger uh, as opposed to this one, Oopsies, let me actually set these right. You'll see that generally it's a less opposing knife to pull out in public, and it really is uh, better for just everyday utilitarian work. Sometimes I find larger knives like this, while I do love to carry them, and they're certainly more comfortable when you hold them at times because you have more room to kind of sprawl out with your hands, they can be more opposing and a little bit harder to use for everyday carry tasks. And so that's why I oftentimes carry the Benchmade uh, 5D6 is because generally I'll run it with something larger like maybe this AFK. And this AFK, once again, another great knife, but pretty big and pretty opposing. You definitely want to be careful whenever you pull out like an auto like this because this thing has a high tendency to scare a lot of people uh, when they come out because it's just like an AR-15 it's like black and tactical and mean looking even though it's really no more opposing than any of these other knives but anyways this knife is a really great knife to run with something that's more tactical and more defensive like an AFK because you can pull this knife out it will be really unobtrusive not a lot of people will get scared or feel threatened by it and it'll allow you to just you don't drop it first it'll allow you to uh, get your work done that you really need to get done getting to the negatives I do have only really one negative to this knife or really two kind of in one and that is the value of this knife I will say while I do really personally enjoy this knife and I'm not getting rid of this knife anytime soon and I, like I said I really do love this knife for all that it is I will say it feels a little bit outdated in our highly competitive knife market and the knife arena is very very competitive nowadays and you can get knives for you know 90 to 80 dollars that, that are around the same price point as this basically that have far better materials we're talking things like g10 handles uh, s30v blades uh, and they're all around the same size and so i will say when when getting this knife competitive options is a really big thing to think about because this knife does lack a little bit in behind the time so to speak however the, about 
about the only thing that does really help it with competitive edge is the fact that it has an awesome and very strong locking mechanism. So most of the knives that are around that $90 range, uh, they don't have the access lock, so they're not quite as strong, I guess you could technically reason. But um, <laughs> overall, I will say that the overall price point or value of this knife can be a little bit hard to justify. But I think that's the same way with many Benchmades, because Benchmades overall as a rule are generally more expensive knives. Uh, so you do have to kind of take that for what it is and realize that when you do buy a Benchmade, you're buying a more expensive knife. I mean, this one here, normal retail is $220. This one's like 110, 120-ish, and this one's 90. So I mean, you know, these knives, all these Benchmades are very expensive knives or generally more expensive than what the value you're getting because all of these have 154CM. I realize this one one's not quite a fair comparison because this is an auto so in case anyone's wondering why this one has like such a high expense it's primarily due to the fact that it's an auto and auto knives are harder to make button lock auto knives are harder to make than just normal uh, folding knives like this so that's the general reason why this one's a little bit more expensive it's also coated so that makes it more expensive anyways overall like I said uh, you just have to kind of justify or see if the price really fits for you. I will say uh, while this blade steel is still 154 cm it is pretty good and I have never had any regrets about carrying this knife even in today's highly competitive market like I said I'm not getting rid of this knife anytime soon it's probably gonna be with me for one of those kind of lifer knives because it's just a really great and easy to carry knife. It's very small, very compact, and it balances out my other knives that I usually carry. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed that quick look at the Benchmade 5D6 and some roll-in footage. Uh, <clears throat> like I said, it's a pretty awesome knife. I still really love it, and it's a great companion knife to run with larger knives, or if you just want that one EDC knife that's going to be really unobtrusive, small, lightweight, in your pocket, it kind of disappears. That is definitely this knife, and if you're looking to do that, I would recommend contacting Benchmade and asking them for a... 275 Adamus, I believe that's their number, but the 275 Adamus clip, which I'm actually running on an Osborne right now, but this clip right here uh, is actually what I usually carry this knife on, and I would ask them for one. They generally send them for free, and so that's a pretty awesome feature for Benchmade, but I would ask for a deep carry clip because the deep carry clip sits this knife really, really well, and it's barely printing or it's barely outside of the pocket at all on this knife and so it's a really nice package that will bury deep and if you are looking for a discreet carry that you don't want people seeing uh, I would definitely recommend going for the deep carry clip because once again it's something it's a free option from Benchmade and uh, it will really help your uh, it really help your discreet carry it's also a nice option on a 940 because it completely buries a 940, but I'll get to that in that review. Anyways, guys, that's all for now. God bless, and I'm out.